man. Are you kidding me? Full, a full sink again. Full dishes. It never ends. I hope I have enough room in my dishwasher for this. Hey, your buddy, Jim, from Jim's Holiest of Holiest. Uh, if you're interested in learning about tropical plants, subscribe to my Jim's Holiest of Holiest channel and uh, also Instagram. You can learn how to grow beautiful, beautiful coleus. So take a look at my channel. So I'm here, as you can see, uh, we had a full sink of dirty dishes and I wanted to do a, um, a an update about the Bosch uh, series 300 um, dishwasher uh, I believe I have it about two years now and it's fabulous it really does it just it's the the, the main thing I think one of the um, the, the po most positive points I, I guess you could say would be the the capacity um, just the design of the shelving especially for utensils the, the the and I'll get into that but the cleaning and how quiet that's the that's the main thing overall I think obviously you want your dishes to be nice and clean but better more even more important for me because I have my my living room right here my TV and in the past I've had you know clearly inferior dishwashers that were just so noisy and annoying you want to watch a TV show or you want, you know, you want, and you hear it, and you hear it running, you hear it, it's just annoying. These are so quiet. And this is the middle range. They have different levels and even more quiet than this. And I'll, I'll get into the DB rating and so forth. But this is so quiet that when it's running, you don't hear it. You don't hear anything. And yet, there's times I got to stop and, and listen You'll hear a little, little bit, or I'll hear the, the water trickling in my sink to, to make sure that it is running. That's how quiet these are. So if you're looking for a quiet, high-quality dishwasher, and and, and they're, they're, these are under $1,000. I mean, I paid, I think I got this on sale for $600, $700. It's well worth it because it's going to last for years and years, as opposed to spending maybe three or $400 on a, a clearly inferior, noisy unit that's going to burn out, especially if you have a large family. And I have just, uh, I have one child, but it's amazing how one teenage uh, can fill up a sink as, as you just saw. And I hope to maybe answer some, quest answer some questions. I got, I get a lot of comments. It's one of my top videos, uh, even with my, my Coleus channel. I, I do mostly Coleus, but I do some product reviews. Um, it's one of my top um, watched and commented videos. Uh, it was my first review, if you want to take a look back when I first bought this. And I'm going to try to answer some, I got some regular popular uh, comments and questions. So, all right, let's go take a look at the nuts and bolts of this. Uh, just, the, you know, a superficial comment. I have the uh, stainless steel appliances and some black, uh, the bronze. Um, so these come in um, black as I have here. Uh, they have like a brushed, more of a really a stainless steel and white, I believe. Uh, I went with the black because I wanted a little bit of contrast. I didn't want too much. And it really was, it was lighter than this. And actually I got the refrigerator later on. But anyway, just an, obvious, uh, an observation. It's black. Uh, but it does scratch, so um, I mean it's really a minor thing. But again, this is two years old. Um, we use it, you know, obviously at least once or twice a day sometimes. But just keep that in mind that the black surface will scratch, and I'm sure the white will get marked up also. But that white, you know, white that's that's your decision. The stainless steel is probably uh, the way to go, but uh, just an observation. Uh, just an observation for you there. All right, so uh, they have different handle. Uh, different models have different handles. Uh, really, whatever. This is just a reach in. You open it up. All your controls are on the top, on off. They're pretty straightforward. Heavy auto, normal. I use uh, normal most of the time, but obviously with this load, I'm going to put heavy. We can just leave. Uh, 
automatic. Sanitize I use all the time. Uh, once in a while I use it extra dry, but um, 44 decibel, 44 decibels, 44 dBA. The uh, the higher the number, the better it is. The more quiet. So I think the highest is like a 50. I have to really look into that. Don't take my word. Uh, but this is a middle of the road, and it's quiet. So I can imagine 48. Uh, you know, the top of the line, the very, very top of the line is going to be the quietest and has have more options. But this is this is great. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Simple. Everything's right here. You got your drawer. Put your, your pod in there. So your pods, you know, I, I get what's on sale, what's good. You don't have to go and spend like a big, you don't have to go and spend top money on the uh, dishwasher pods. I get these at the dollar store, the big boxes. Uh, this is actually a different one. It, what's on sale? These are single. They're really cheap. It's like eight bucks for like a hundred or forty. Uh, then you know, once in a while, I'll get something else on sale. I'll throw them in there. But pretty simple. Put it in there. Close it. This is your for your rinse agent. Again, same thing. I use uh, generic rinse aid. I don't necessarily have to go and use the top stuff, but that's up to you. Um, the only thing with this is, is co compared to other ones I've had, um, it's kind of odd how the rinse agent container works. It says just fill it until, until you kind of see it's settling in the cup there. But, you know, I, I so that's basically it. So everything's right here. Pretty simple, straightforward. Okay, what I love about this, and a lot of them have it, a lot of the higher end ones have this, this pull out drawer on the top. And you could put, you know, obviously you could stick as much as you want, uh, nice and neat, or haphazard like this. Some of these are clean already, but um, actually these are clean. I, I just didn't empty it, but um, you know, you could put, whatever spoons kind of these things so it does it does have some depth larger knives that maybe you don't want to slice your hand off in, in the regular basket and that's the second thing that's really great about this wood um i'm i don't mind putting the time in my wife uh is so busy that that she prefers to use the the utensil basket which is fine but if you have a, a big family or you had a party and you have a ton of stuff. This holds between the top rack and this basket holds an awful lot of utensils. And you got uh, all your different racks here. And each model is a little different. These actually adjust up depending on what you're going to be doing. If you want stuff on an angle. Those are adjustable. These, this top, the second drawer here actually goes up and down. You have these little handles on both sides. You press them both in at the same time and it accommodates um, if you have higher dishes on the bottom or if you have a tall cup like this. You have these, you know, you like to maybe use these over a couple of times. And it doesn't, it, it touches like that. You can actually lower this whole rack down. Or again, raise it up to accommodate larger dishes. Maybe you have a big pot or something like that. Um, same thing here. <clears throat> lots of different, lots of room, cups generally. You know, you, you kind of get to used to what you put, what you put where. You know, my wife puts a, she'll put a saucepan here and there. She'll just throw something. You know, I'm more, I'm more very detailed on what I. When I have a large thing, I, I treat these like uh, jigsaw puzzles. And you got these fold down racks here, and those are for even more utensils or whatever. It's just odd things that maybe uh, 
don't fit anywhere else. So it's it's got a lot of options um, on, on you know depending on what you want to what kind of uh, dishes or utensils you have and so forth. It holds an awful lot. And there's your bottom your bottom rinse wand and there is a top one. You put the light on. You can see it. There is a top. There is a top wand on there. And then of course you have the bottom. So you got the top, middle, <clears throat> and the bottom wand. All stainless steel inside. Stainless steel. Oh. Excuse my Yorkie. I should know better. Any any kind of noise that sounds like a knock is a, a knock to him, is a knock at the door. Okay, so all stainless steel on the inside, easy to clean, rinse. Uh, it's good to run it every once in a while without any dishes in it. Uh, you can use lemon juice. I put lemon juice right in um, in the in the cleaner container, or you can buy the rinse, the actual dishwasher cleaner. It's good to do that. Uh, just to get the smell if you have a lot of dishes and so forth also on the bottom See if we can reach in You have your screen and something that I t a lot of people don't check is This in here here. Here's your screen to actually clean out Very simple It's a little filter there Gets gunked up with food particles and waste or whatever down there Make sure you clean that, rinse that, you know, depending on how often you use it. But that's important. That's a, a lot of people don't even realize that that comes out. Uh, very simple. Snaps right in and turns like a gas cap. But I highly recommend you do that. So, the price, yeah, they're a little more expensive. But, unfortunately, with the what's going on in the world with the supply chain... Uh, I really haven't looked at what these are going for now, but sales in the past, you can get these at a good price, and they're well worth the extra money that you're going to save in the long term. And again, super, super quiet, um, different angles, all different types of options. The basket actually comes out, so if you have even more, Something really, really big. Got some big pots. You can take this out and put that in there. All different types of, uh, just a, an abundance of optional um, room and adjustments to fit whatever it is you got. And these, and it really does a great job. Uh, everything gets clean, and that's another thing too is. This has a smart sensor. It can actually sense how dirty the dishes are. Uh, now, I rinse the dishes. It says that you do not have to rinse your dishes. Um, I'll rinse them a little bit. I don't put them in loaded with, you know, spaghetti, dried spaghetti and stuff like that. I generally give the dishes a real quick superficial rinse, but I don't go crazy. Um... And then I put them in here. But it says it has a smart sensor where you don't have to really clean. You don't have to rinse your dishes crazy. But I, I find that, you, you know, they, by rinsing them, I think it's going to prolong the life of the dishwasher myself. And, you, and obviously, you're going to get better results to me. <clears throat> so, I mean, I could be wrong with that. But, you know, to me, if the dishes are pretty clean going in, they're going to come out even better at the end. So, uh, and that's another thing, too. It does heat. Uh, has the dryer. It has, and I'll show you this later, uh, it's in my first review. When you turn it on, there's a little red light that shines on the floor, lets you know that it's still running, that it's running, number one, that it's still running. It has a very um, pleasant little chime at the end telling you that the cycle is complete and it's done. Uh, but obviously, if you're sanitizing or you're drying it you're drying you want to lit generally i i I'll, we'll put them on we'll put it on at the end of dinner the end of the day let it run out and then the next morning everything will be it's it's all dry 
drained and, and we'll unload it. Uh, you know, it's like just your, your regular routine, whatever routine you have. But it does have all those little um, sensor warning things to let you know that it's, it's running and it's, and it's, um, and it's, it's complete. But again, it's so quiet that you really have to sit and listen. Is this running? And I'm going to I'm going to put it on in a minute. I'm going to empty this disaster here in here and I'll show you it full. And this is not probably as much as some people's uh, homes. It's just the three of us, my wife and my son. Uh but just to show you, and I'll, I'll turn it on, and, and you'll be able to see and hear, or I don't know if my phone will pick it up. Everybody uh, has their way. See, I mean, forks, yeah, you, you don't have to rinse stuff like this. You don't really have to rinse it. I mean, you can, some stuff. Wipe it or whatever, but something like this you can leave in. I really worry about the big, heavy dishes. I generally have my little system here with uh, my utensils. I'll move things around a little bit. You your, your larger cups. These are actually clean, so we're going to take these out. And I'll show you. Nice and clean. No food. No residue. No like water spots. Nice and clean. Both sides. Both sides. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. I generally put the dishes on the side here. I don't have a full load, but again, it's always good to run it um, with a um, less than full. I don't, I don't load it to the gills every single time. And depending on what it is you're putting in, you might want to move things around. I prefer to have these. This is my coffee machine. I generally put plastics up on top and bowls and dishes on the bottom. And I might adjust it once I empty it out or once I fill it, I'll adjust it. Again, we got a whole bunch. These are already clean from the other one. So I'm just going to take this out and put it over here and then I'll put these away later. So I have lots of room here. Got some dirty forks and knives up here. You have so much room here. You can fit so many forks, knives, especially if you do them, if you have a lot, I mean, if you have a party, you can line them all up like this. I mean, but most of the time, obviously, you know, I don't, but you can, spoons, you can load this up. Incredible. It's really a great design a lot, and a lot, a lot of other I saw a few other lower end models have something similar uh, but the Bosch really had uh, you, you really can't beat these because of the performance and the and the quiet uh, I think I think how quiet I mean y y your main two things are obviously how clean your dishes come out that they don't smell um, and how quiet the machine is, how especially if it's near a family room like mine. And these uh this Bosch fits both of those very important things to take. Top. Top uh top of the line. I think it's just it's well worth uh the six, seven hundred dollars or more, eight hundred dollars for a dishwasher. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try to not get in the way of the camera, but I mentioned it has the uh the adjustable shelf, again, you have the two, you basically, it's easier to do it when it's not full, but if you suspect, it goes up, and it's a good adjustment, you get at least three levels, 
So that's a real big plus. Real big plus if you have, you know, you're doing tall cups and glasses or big pots and pans on the bottom. You can stand them up or, or like cookie sheets or something like that. They don't get jammed in there. You can adjust that center shelf. Another big plus for these Bosch dishwashers. Okay, All right. make sure I don't forget to put the uh, filter back in after I've washed that. But you can see it holds, got this big jug, iced tea container. Um, you got to be careful again with some of this stuff, a bottom rack. But uh, I've had this in here before, and even with the heating, um, the only time is a problem. And this doesn't really have that. Some of the older models actually have a an old a metal ring that goes around the bottom that glows, and that's what heats up that creates the heat. This doesn't have it; has a different type of heat. Um, so. Uh, I have to worry. I don't really have to worry about this melting, uh, but I'm always, uh, you know, the first few times I've, I've done it, uh, I've always, I kind of checked it and make sure. But I try to avoid keep, you know, plastic things on the bottom. Uh, I try to put the more delicate things like this cups and so forth on the top, and keep the heavy duty stuff on the bottom. But that's that's in general. I think everybody who's gotten dish, who's had dishwashers their whole lives, know that sort of like a puzzle if you have a lot of dishes. You know, again, I'll load it up and uh, adjust things around and make sure they fit right and so forth and make sure it's pretty much even so everything cleans evenly. Again, uh, these clean pretty thorough, very thoroughly. I mean, I I don't think I can remember a, a time or two, maybe a fork that has a lot of thick go uh, peanut butter. Maybe I had to run through. I, left, I just left it in the, in the basket. Maybe it was in the basket. That's why I like to use the top. I find that the... Uh, utensils clean better on the top than thrown in the basket, especially in mass. You know, if they have 15, 20 uh, butter knives and they're all gunked up with stuff, you might want to put another pot in there. Or on sometimes I put a pot on the top. I'll actually put, if I have a big heavy load, I'll do is put a pot like that on the top and in the, uh, in the slot and run it with the two pads. With the two pods, rather. But one does fine. Uh, again, it, very thorough. I, again, uh, rarely ever have to rinse uh, anything or scrape dry food off anything. Everything comes out nice and clean. The only time you find, you'll find that is if you load your dishwasher incorrectly. If you have stuff blocking other things. Um, so you try not to cram you don't want to overload just like your washing machine you don't want to overload because you're not going to get good results so it's good to have a you know moderate um a moderate load but this will handle a heavy load it has the uh the heavy load sensor and the setting Okay, put this back in. And line up two arrows. I'm sorry. Put that in. Line up the two arrows. Make sure it's snugged in there. And we're all ready to go. Okay, here we go. So we're all loaded up. Drawers the right height. Slide this in there. Everything's set. Make sure everything's set back. Nothing's in the way. You'll see you won't be able to close it. Close it up. We got it's um you're gonna set it. We'll just set it. We'll keep it at uh automatic. Sanitize. Hit start. You can see your red dot. I can hear a little trickle of water in the drain. That's how I know it's definitely starting. That's about as noisy as this gets. 
And then again, there's your red dot, let you know it's on and then it's still running. Again, once it's done, the red light, you'll hear the chime. It'll beep, 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 beep. It has a nice little chime and then the red light will go out. And then you let it sit and dry. It's running. You, you can't hear it. I have a fish tank in the back. But you cannot hear this run. I highly recommend these Bose. This is a Series 300. Any of the Bose series are great. I think there's a Bose 100. It's, a, uh, it's probably a 42 decibel, which is still pretty quiet. This is a 44, and it's amazingly quiet. I can imagine what a 48 or 50. I think it might go up to 50, 52. I have to really, you can research that. Uh, that's not what my, my review is about. Uh, Bosch 300, Series 300, Bosch dishwasher review number two. Uh, any questions? Uh, I think I covered most of the questions about the racks. Um... How, you know, are the racks adjustable? Do they have little, can you change things around? I, I think I covered everything without actually going there and saying, okay, a person commented so-and-so. I think I covered everything you need to know. Here we go. That's about as loud as you're going to get. It's like a, a, a little, it's just nominal. It, it's a completely insignificant, and that's just, it, it's, it's a super, super quiet dishwasher. So get yourself one of these. I hope this review helped. Any comments, questions, absolutely leave them at the end of this. And again... Visit Jim's Holiest of Coleus YouTube channel if you want to learn how to grow these beautiful coleus plants. Uh, I also sell my seeds on eBay called Jim's Coleus. Uh, you buy my seeds, you get my Instagram channel and YouTube free instruction on how to grow coleus plants. They're beautiful, really easy, simple gifts that you can give to family, friends, it just keeps on giving. It's a great, great hobby if you're into plants. If not, I hope you've enjoyed this Bosch Series 300 review. Take care, everybody.